Hello and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic and Merry Christmas. What do you do after you've enjoyed Christmas Day, you've had a big meal and you're just in a food coma when you want something to distract you? You watch Cracking the Cryptic solve a big old puzzle that takes ages, as I suspect this one will. Or you have a go at it yourself. <laughs> you're very welcome to do that. Panthera has supplied a link and I am not going to take on the task of retyping this into our software for a different link um, because there's a lot of this puzzle and I would make a mistake or a color mistake or something. So it's absolutely fascinating. It's a sort of Japanese sums variant much as the the Paint by Numbers Institute puzzle packs that we've been able to bring patrons in the past. I will go through the rules in a minute but I shall wish you again a happy Christmas first and I shall say a special ho 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 to everyone who's helped us out in the last year. Thank you very much. It is so appreciated and I include all the constructors, various helpers we have around the channel testers and so on. Um, and Sven has been magnificent as always this year. Um, and everybody who basically gets involved with us, especially the viewers. Thank you very much for sticking with us all year, as many of you have. Now, don't forget the Fistamafell puzzle hunt. It is brilliant. It's on Patreon. It is a hybrid Sudoku hunt. People are loving it. They are struggling with some of the puzzles, including the last one. Um, what is it? An ancient wall. It's unbelievable. And we just strongly recommend it anyway. So I suggest that you just... Um, Either have a go at that, or if you want to relax more, get a glass of wine and watch this video. If you are under um, 18 or 21 in some jurisdictions, get a glass of squash like me and sit back and enjoy this puzzle. So, um, there's the merch and the apps. Don't worry about them. It's Christmas Day. Now, the rules of this. Right. An irregular and region Sudoku rules apply. There are four six by six grids. They are all separate in a way. Um, so these contain the digits one to six, and each marked region contains the digits one to six as well. <clears throat> so presumably, I mean, these cells could all be one because they're all in different six by six regions which is going to look weird in the sort of box joins anyway japanese sums rules apply colors used in this puzzle are red white blue and pink now white are given by green clues so white is the same as green in this puzzle now as you can see from the logos in the corners red and white clues appear on the top and left side of the grid while blue and pink appear on the right and the bottom side of the grid. There are no unshaded cells. So everything is red, white, blue, or pink. The clues, which is handy, because the difference between a white and an unshaded would be very hard to determine. The clues outside the grid indicate the sums of the contiguous runs found in that row or column that must be shaded the color of the clue. Remember, green clues represent white. If a clue is black, then both colors must be present in the row or column. So, in this column, if we think about red and white cells, there's one run of 15, uh, a sum of 15 in red cells. But if we look at the bottom, there's one sum of, one run of 27 in blue cells. That doesn't mean red is above blue, it just means that the bottom is what's telling us where blue is and so on. Anyway, um, if a clue is black, then both colors must be present. So in this column, the top is saying that there are runs of red and white that are 9, 15, and 5 in total. The bottom is saying there are runs of blue and pink that are 9, 2, 1, and 1. And we have to find how to fit them in. Um, and there must be both red and white and there must be both blue and pink in that column because the clues are black both ends. There must be a different color between runs of the same color. If a row or column is unclued, we've got some down here from the right, then those colors do not appear in that row or column. So there's no 
blue or pink in the bottom three rows, I guess. Clues read left to right or top to bottom in both cases. So if you like this sort of thing, and I do, feel free to click on the link. It's a tiny URL link to Panthera's um, version of the puzzle. I'm going to restart mine so I know my time. Let's get cracking. So, right, um, let's start with this bottom row. Okay, that's a, give a gimme. 42 on the left, nothing on the right. It's all red. Now, there is a secret that we often tell you about the rows and columns in a regular Sudoku. 1 to 9 add up to a certain number. That number is different for a 1 to 6 Sudoku. It is 21. So every row, column, and, and especially every marked region in this puzzle is going to add up to 21. Now, when I say row, I'm talking about the 6 by 6 grids. So that row, oops, that row adds up to 21, and that one does too. Hence, 42 goes the whole way across the grid. Now let's look at the top row. That says blue, two blues and a red, and that's all there are. So the red must come in between the blues. The blues add up to 24. Now the first six cells add up to 21 because they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So they're all blue, at least the next one, although it could be two. Then we get a run of 11 in red and then a run of 7 in blue. The 7 could be 1, 2, 4, so I'm only... Oh, sorry, that should have been red. And that at least is blue. Ah, oh, in fact, two cells are blue because 7 has to be at least two cells. So we can mark all of those. There will be at least one more red cell there. Now the next row starts with blue as well. 17 in blue in a... 1 to 6 Sudoku, that's at least 4 cells. It finishes with a single 2. Actually, we can fill that in. It can't be 1, 1. So then there's a run of 23 in red. Right, these remaining reds on this right side add up to 19. So we go at least to there. And either that's a 4 or this is a 1, 3 red pair. The next row has three blues separated by red and white. So we do at least know that the blue it alternates between blue and other colours. Blue is over here, is at least three cells, could be six, five, three. Blue is here, adds up to three. Bit difficult to know after. Oh no, the one comes next. Ah, the one comes next. The one is somewhere here, and it's a single one. Now that means the three can't be a two cell, two and one. So that's a three. This is a one, and I don't know whether the color is red or white, which I'm going to represent as green. Then we get six in blue, which can't be three, two, one, or one, five. So it could be a single six or a two, four pair. Then we get red or green making 18, which must go to at least there, in fact. And I don't know which colour that is. But in the next row, we get blue for 7, at least 2 cells, blue for 9 this end, at least 2 cells, red for 26 in the middle. I'm going to colour all of those red. I mean, that makes me think this is red for the picture, but we haven't proved that, so... I'm going to do this logically. Now, that's a decent start to the colouring. Let's look at the columns. Right, 9 in red is 2 or 3 cells. The rest is blue. In this one, 15 in red is at least 3 cells, but it could be as many as 5. The rest after that is blue. Blue equals 16 here. Then there's red and what I'm going to call green from now on. We'll turn it white in the end, but we'll make it green to start with. So the bottom one of those is clearly red and is 16, which is at least four cells. Then there's green of 10, So because blue comes last. So 16 and 10 is 26. That's going to take us over the border. Hmm, I don't know how far. And the top blue is 16. 
654 is only 15, so that's blue. So 9 is in 3 cells in that row. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is progress. Oh, look at the final column. 13 in red. Well, 29 in blue, so that's 21. Must be at least two more cells. 13 in red has to be at least three. This column, we have six in the top blue, so that's a single six. Then we have two as the next blue. That's got to be a single cell as well, and that's there. So, what do we have in other colors? We have four, one, 18 and 11. Well, we've got to finish with red 11. So that's at least two cells. Then we've got green 18. Which must come past, well, it must come all the way up to here, mustn't it? 11 and 18. Oh, but we could have a 1. No, that has got to be the 1. That has got to be on its own. Right, that's green. Those ones have gone red now, as we expected. That is a single 4. And these are green adding up to 18, but I don't know how far they go. 3 and a 5 there is 10. No, is 8. Then 10 more. It could be only 2 more. So I'll colour those green. Okay, so we're picking away at the corners. Now, this row begins and ends in red. The middle is green of 10. So let's use the fact that 15, well, at least one cell on the left. 25 means at least one cell on the right is green. 17 means at least four cells at the end of red, I think. 654 is 15, yes. Now this row is similar. It ends in red, so it must begin with red. So that's gone red. 14 in red could only be three. Six in red at the end could be one, two, or three. So then we have green of 22. So I'm going to go that far, because the 14 at the beginning could be four cells, but it can't be five. Um, where should we go next? This row, maybe. There's a five in blue, so that's either one or two cells that end. Then we must go red, green, red for the rest. So it ends in red, which is three. I was about to look up and go, well, it can't be a single three, but that's nonsense, because this is a different grid. So then there's green of 26 and red of 8, which comes after blue of 5. So blue and red between them is 13. So there must be two greens at least to make up the 21. Okay. I don't colour beyond that. Let's look in this row. Ah, this row is just blue, green, blue. And it ends in a 3. Ah. It ends in a 3. So this red does not end in a red 3. It ends in a red 2, 1. Um, then we've got 34 in green and then 5 in blue. So all of those are green. Okay, then we have, a more, we have some more complicated columns in the middle. Look at these strings. Not only 8, 11, 11, 5. The next one is 5, 5, 1, 17, 1, 2, 4. Crikey. But there is a green three as the second white. That has to be a single three. That's good. This is not green. In fact, that, well, it's either part of a two-cell green or a one-cell green. So in the, the rest, which is blue and pink mixed, I'll be using, well, I, I'll use purple and change it to pink at the end. So we have five at the beginning. Um, then there's this 4 in red. Then there's another 5. I don't know if I can tell what these other colours will be. 5, 1, 17, 1, 2. So that's going to finish with 1, 2. Then there's a 17. Oh, let's just do a bit of irregular Sudoku. We've got a 4, 6 there and a 1, 
five there to finish those. Um, two, one, then a run of 17, then a single one, and a five. Well, surely that's going to have to go five, one, after a four in green. That lot will add up to 17. And we've got five in blue over here. That must be a two and a three. So the way we get to 17 is six, five, six, which in this puzzle is allowable, which is quite strange. Um, yeah, that has to be a six because it's in a row with a five. Then there's a five, six pair there, and that fixes those. Right. Ah, and there was a six clue at the end of that, and a five. And these add up to nine. Could be three or two cells. Then there's a green five. Ah, oh, that can't be a single green five in that position anyway. Oh, no, there's a green one this side. Well, that's in one of those two spots. Oh, hang on. That means that these cells can't contain one, two, or three by Sudoku. So to make nine, well, they must be a four, five pair, I think. So then they, the one comes immediately after them and is green. That's not now a one. That is not blue because we need a different color. So it's pink. And this whole lot is... 6, 3, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 21 in pink, so I'll make that this purpley pink for now. Okay, at least we've got some fix on the colours in that row. Now, in this row ahead, it was above, it was 9, 26, 7, but that could still go 1, 2, 4, or 5, 2. That's annoying. That could be a single 6. Okay, I haven't used a lot of these columns in the middle, so... Three there. No, hang on, that's blue. So that clue is at the bottom. Seven at the top. And that's going to be part of a pink 17. Well, that's got to be three cells. So they're all pink. Three, three, 12 is red and white. I don't know quite. That can't be white, can it? Yes, it can. There is white in this row. Ah, 18 and 1. No, that's red and green, of course. Sorry, 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 sorry. So in this column, it's red, green, red for 3, 3, 12. So the bottom green and red add up to 3 and 12, add up to 15. Well, that's going to use all those cells as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be a 6. Now, the pink has to add up to 17, which is, again, 656, six, which is just not a natural um, sequence for me. And then above that, we have 3 and 7 in 3 in red and 7 in blue. But I don't know quite how that breaks up. This is a 2-3 pair by Sudoku. Uh, oh, yes, and this row, oh, no, that's all purple. Now, this row, we ought to, we can now alternate between purple and blue. So, we went five in blue, five in purple, then one in blue, then 17 in purple, and that's in the middle bit, then one in blue, then two in purple. There we go. We're getting this now. Um, then in the next row, let's see what we can do here. We had in blue, 8 over this side, which can't be with a 6, so it's 3, 5. Then green is 2. Then we get 11 in purple, which now can't be 6, 5, it's 6, 1, 4. That's all purple. Oh, I was going to write 4, then 1, but this is the place where we could have consecutive 1s. Right, that's the purple done. Let's go from the other end where five is the blue side. That's a five. That's just, no, I was going to put a one or a two in there. I can't do that. Then green is a single, well, I don't know if it's a single four. It's four in green, which is either one, three, or a single four. 
And that's both green. So at some point we've got a single red one in this row. 11, it's got to interrupt something, hasn't it? Hasn't the red one got to be here? Because we can't have, oh no, it could be blue again here. Okay, we're not sure there. Wow, three. This can't be a single five anymore because of Sudoku. So that's two cells making five. And they can't have a three in there, or one, four. Yes, okay. So that row, pretty much complete for colouring. This row starts with five. Don't know enough about that. Right, let's just keep going. Um, still don't know how that works. Want to write three, four in there, but that's dangerous. Um, okay, these more central columns. I still haven't used these much. So this one goes... 9, 15, oh, it, this one is weird. It finishes with 9, 2, 1, 1. So one of the ones is that blue one. And then there must be another, the other one is a pink one right below it. There we go. Because that is also depicted in the 9, 2, 1, 1. So above that we have a, a pink 2 and a blue 9, which has to be two cells. There we go. Then red... No, red and white. We have red, 9, followed by green, 15, and red, 5. I don't know how they finish off there, but that's now a 3 by Sudoku. So in this column, we should have a 13. We do, and a 1 in blue. These make 11, and they are 2, 5, 4 by Sudoku. At the bottom we have a red 1, and obviously these are 2, 5, 3, and 6 in some order. I'm not even going to fill them in, but they make 16. Now, in this next column, oh, oh yes, red is 9 in 3 cells. What is blue? Blue is 3 at the top. Red is 9. Pink is 9 here. Ah, 3 plus 9 plus 9 is 21. So pink ends there, surprisingly, actually. Um, then this begins, what do we have in red and green? 9, 1, 18, 2. 9 there. This must be a red 1. That's very interesting. Then we have 18 and then a 2. That makes sense, okay, in terms of the Sudoku. This adds up to 9, doesn't it, in blue and pink? So it's not 6, 3 now, it's 5, 4. Right, by Sudoku I can do 3 and 1 and 2. In fact, wouldn't it be nice if Sudoku did most of the rest of the puzzle? That would help. Now this column, there's no blue, but there's a pink of 11. So that is pink and is a 2. The red, green and red goes 12 which is a 1-2 pair there. In fact, I can do them by Sudoku, and that's red. This is a 4-5 pair, which I can't disambiguate. Then at the bottom we get 4 in red. Is that a 4 or a 3-1? Don't know. Okay, let's keep going up here. We've got 18, 11, and 7 in red, green, red. So that's red. The blue and pink is 2-1-3. Well, I know exactly where they go. 2, 1, 3, like that. And the blue and pink in the next column is 6 and 9. Oh, what's this pink here? 11. It's going to be 11. So that's a pink 6. And in this column it was 9. So that's a 1. Blue is 6. What's red, green? Oh, there's 4. Red, green here green red that must be what happens so that's green and is a three red at the top of nine the blue in this column is six and nine so that's a six this is five and four that all works by sudoku that's a three in this region that's a four let's just finish off this sudoku piece 
There we go. Top right jigsaw complete. That's a four in the bottom right one. Now we might, we've only got seven colorful souls left to complete. So in this column, four, one, 18 in green. We've already got 12. That's a six. And then 11, which is one, two, three, five. That's all red. Um, that's up to three. Gosh, I'm looking at different clues and getting confused now. What about this column? Nine, three, five in green. So that can't run into a third cell. So the 10 in red does. Right, the 10 in red, oh sorry, the six in red over here is a one, two, three triple, which is surprising. That's one, two, three in this region. Hmm, don't really know what to do with the rest of that. That's a four, six pair. Um, 14 here, these two add up to 7, if we take 14 from 21, don't know what they are. Okay, what's this doing? Very hard to tell, let's look at the column, 3, 3, 12, blue, blue, oh, so blue is 3, no, I'm looking at the red and white the red and green one. Blue is seven and then 17. So this blue is seven. I don't know whether that runs into that cell or not. Oh, this is a three, six pair by the region. That's a four, five pair by the region. That's a two, three pair. Let's just do it this way. We've got a four, five pair now. That's a one, six pair. In fact, in this region, there's another one, six pair. Okay, now this column in blue, we had seven. Could still be one, two, four. Still now it could. There's no change on that. Ah, oh, it's getting trickier than I expected. I thought once we got one grid done, the rest would just fall apart. Ah, oh, two in this region has to be here. Oh, that fixes quite a few things. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's a start. That's a five. This is a three and one that I can fill in. That is four or six. Now, what's the clue here? Ah, the bottom red clue is a four. So that's red. Now, in this region, 12, 15, four. So that's green. Okay, and what does that do for this region? 10 in green, 17 in red, plus four to make up the 21 in the row. Then six more in green. Could be a single six or not. Uh, that's a five, six pair by... Oh, that one is looking down at that. Honestly, the ability to see regular Sudoku is when your brain has to divide the grid into its constituent parts is definitely hampered. It's either that or a big old Christmas meal don't know. Now, three, two, that's a four. Okay, this, this Sudoku is done. Now, let's be careful with the next one because the things don't always carry over, but this is part of a 22 sum, so these add up to seven. This is part of a 10 sum. I worked that out before. Now, down here, nine, Oh, no. 9, 15, 5. Oh, 9 in red, then 15 in green. And 5. I don't know how that works yet. No, it's, maybe it's quite tricky to finish off. That's fine. Um, right, 14 in green. In, in blue here. This could be one, four, two, or it could be five, two. Yeah, these have to add up to seven, either two or three of them. If it's three of them, it goes one, four, two. If it's two of them, it goes five, two. That's always a two, weirdly. 
ah, one in this region. Can't be there because of that. Can't be there because of those. So one goes here. That's the sort of thing I ought to be doing a bit more of, isn't it? Um, six now in the top left region is there. Now three in the top left region is there. That sorts out two and three. This is much more, much more enjoyable way of doing the puzzle for me. Um, now we need a one in this weird shape region. That has to be here. We need a three in it as well. That has to be here. That's going to fix two, three there. That makes this a five. This has to be a four, therefore. Five, four, five, four. I just want to be careful here because it'd be easy to go wrong by reading across grid boundaries. But I think that's done. Now, can check the last color. 14 in blue and 7 in blue. That is blue. Okay. And now, how can we apply that kind of logic? We've got very few, we've got the top row of this grid mostly, and not much else. Um, right, let's try and use the Japanese sums clues. In this column, this, oh, well, we know what that adds up to. It adds up to 16. In this column, green adds up to 15, and then red is 15. Five. Don't know. Don't know how to do. Ah, oh, this green. Right. We must know this. So green adds up to ten here. So that's a three. Okay. Well, that feels like something learnt. Two, five, and six here. That one can't be a six. What about these reds? Add up to 15. Are they 654? If so, that's a 2. They could be, certainly. Those have to appear there. They'd be 54. 5 in blue. Is it 2 cells or is it 1? And then 8 in red. Ah, oh, 26 in green. So we've already got. 18 there. Need another 8. I don't know. I find it very difficult to know how to finish this off. Let's have a look at this column again. This was 9211. So in red and green, which is all we've got left, 15 and 5. Wow. Okay. I've looked at that. We need a 3 in one of these cells for this region. We need, I don't know, this is very difficult to finish actually. Nine in red here. And therefore, 12 in blue. Three, four, five, five, one, six, three, one, it's not possible. Five, four, three. Oh, there's all sorts of ways of doing it. Huh, I don't know how to finish this off. Um, four. I need to ask some clever Sudoku question, but I don't know what it is. This row, we have a five in blue, then eight in red. And then we need a further 8 in green. Don't, don't know how to do it. Okay, so green in this column. Oh, that's interesting. Red and green in this column was 3, 3, 12. Ah, so green, there we go, there's the question. Green is 2-1 there. Because it couldn't be a single 3. And then 3-4-5 three, in red. Okay, that's right. So how does that pan out? This is an 8, including a 1. So, don't know, 2-5 or 4-3. Now this red is part of... 
8 as well. Yes. 2, 6 or 3, 5. Whatever it is, the low digit will be there. The high digit will be there. One of these is now a 4. This cage needs a 1 in one of those cells. That's not so interesting. Uh, 3, 2, 1. These are from 4, 5 and 6. Now, what about this sum of 10? Oh, it could still be a 6 here, which would put that 6 there. Right, this can't, these can't be 2s, can they? Because we've got a 3, 2 pair there. Right, so this is a 2, 3 pair down here. This is 5 or 6. Now it could, well, it couldn't be a 5 because it would need a 1 there. That's illegal. Right, that's a 6. It's, this is not green, it's red. That's the last of the colouring. So let's do Sudoku now. 6, 5. Um... Those don't have a 6. That's a 5-4 pair. So in the region, that's a 6. This is the way we like to do it. 1, that's a 4 or a 5. This is a 2-3 pair. So this is a 5-4 pair along the bottom row. Um, okay, back to the numbers. 8 in red here. That makes that a 2. That's going to fix the 3-2 pair. This is a 5 by the, by the clue in blue. 4, 5 are resolved there. That's not a 5. That 5 fixes 3 and 5 there. Now, in red here, we have 15 plus 5 is 20. That needs to be a 1. 1, 6, 1, 2, 2, 6. This is a 3, 4 pair. This is a 6 by Sudoku. Two, three, six. We've got one, four, and five to place. So that's a one by Sudoku. In fact, that row is done by Sudoku. This has to be a five. That's a one. That region is done by Sudoku. Two there, then four, then three. That row is done. We've just got one row to finish off. And just before I finish the last digit, let's recolor the green. Um, as white. There we go. Let's recolor the pink as purple. Sorry, as a, as a different shade of pink. What's our blushiest pink? Maybe that one. Is that pink enough? And there we go. I think it is an elf, is it? Or a Santa, maybe. It's Santa with my hat on. That's what we're looking at, even the white tassel there. Um, let's put in the six to finish the puzzle. There we go. Merry camel to you. And Panther has even put in the solution, so it showed the puzzle was correct. Thank you to her. Thank you for watching us on the channel, as always. A very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And hope to see you again before the new year and many times in the new year. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.